What's up, everybody? What's up, my unicorns? What's up, my lovely ladies? What's up, my beautiful moms, my beautiful daughters, my handsome fathers, my handsome sons? What's up, everybody? What's up to the, to the, to the, it's the gang, it's a mother and daughter thing, gang. What's up, gang? Gang, I know it's been a minute since I've been on here, but if you know me, you know I'm the mom. And I'm the daughter. And I'm coming at you guys with this with the, with the, with the short video today. Because I know I've been MIA lately and I just have been in the uh, video making mood. So that's why I've been MIA. And, and plus, I've been having nothing, you know, it's, I've been having nothing to show you guys. Other than, I wish I was able to... Uh, show you guys one thing because what it's only lately I haven't been doing nothing interesting. I haven't been thinking, excuse me, thinking of nothing interesting to say to you guys. But um, like last week, I should have took you guys with me because I was at my local mall in Bridgeland, Mississippi, which is like like one or two hours away from me. And you guys, when I said I had fun going back to that mall, I had fun because I haven't been in a mall in a couple of either a couple of years or I definitely I believe it been years since I've been to a mall, if I'm not mistaken. No, it haven't been years. I'm sorry, it haven't been years. But but I do know it have been some months. The last time I think I've been to a mall was like in like 2019 or 2018 well actually it have been years it's been a year and a couple months i know that i've been to a mall like so when i went to my local mall like like you no know, like one or two hours away from me which is like right up the street what we call up the street from me from me you guys i felt so good i had my daughter with me I had my aunt who, you know, she's driving me everywhere. Because, you know, guys, I don't know how to drive. I, I don't know how. To, I know how to drive a little bit, but not that much. And I don't. And if, and if I do know how to drive that good, I don't have my license. So, I let so my aunt volunteers to take me where I need to go. And I thank God for her. And, like I said, with my daughter and I with my bed, well, with my my friends named Sandra. She's from my church. You guys know I am a part of an awesome church. So, you guys, when I said I went back to the mall and I had, I was just so happy, y'all. Even when <laughs> I got to the, the parking lot of the mall, I was just so excited. I was just doing random stuff, saying random stuff. Just to, you know, be being funny because, like I said, I, I, it been a minute since I've been in the mall. So, when I say a girl almost, and then, you know, I had some taxes. Girl, them taxes done drop. And, you know, I'm, girl, you know, if I got taxes, got paid, and <laughs> got child support all at the same time, you know your girl was about to go to the mall, Okay. Even though I, I I actually wanted to go on a little trip, but that didn't happen this time because for one, no one had no money but me, and I wasn't gonna pay for everybody uh to be a part of that trip. I won't go. I was I was not gonna pay for everything. I love my friends. I love my godmom. I love my god sisters, but I was not gonna pay for that whole trip. Even though I really wanted, I really really want to go on the, go on a girl's trip. I believe it's going to happen in the near future because I already told God, look, I already told, I, I ain't told him, I asked God, let me, let me correct that, I didn't tell him nothing because you don't tell God nothing, you ask him, so I did ask God, I said, God, please, I, I, can I please go on a vacation? Please send me on a vacation, Is if it be your will that I, me and my daughter go on a few uh, road trips or a few vacations this year. Please send us if it's your will. So that's what that's my prayer for this 2020. That me and my daughter do get to travel, um, sometime during 2020. Even though it's just, even though for it being just the third month of the year, this year is looking kind of, eh, kind of crazy because the year started off kind of like okay, it's here. <laughs> what now? I mean, I thank God that I, that I lived to see 2020 because I'm about to be 30 in this year. But you guys, when I say it's just like, it's just not, you know, but it'll be just the third month of the year. 
and of a new year and then it's a leap year you guys you know leap year used to be usually be the one used to be the time where everybody be crunked up and lit and you know but you know since there's so much going on in this world and so much going on per probably people personally it just don't feel like you know it, sh it should be a celebration, but it's not. But anyway, that's how... To I know that's how everybody feels. They're just... Yeah. But I'm going to still speak it forth that 2020 is going to be the best year of my life. If 2021 is going to be the best year of my life. 2022 is going to be the best year and so forth. Every year that God gives me to live on this earth is going to be the best year. And I don't care what goes on on the outside world or what going on around me. I'm determined to not let nothing, nobody or no thing take the place, take my happiness away from me. And that's my mindset going into 2020. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of letting people, things and situations take my happiness. And I refuse because last year, as you guys know, and I, I'm quite sure I said this in a vlog or two where I was so hurt and distraught over feeling like I done lost a true love in my life. But the more I sat back on it and I really, really thought about it and I'm really went through all the stages of, you know, of, 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 you know, grief, you guys, I finally realized, you know what? He wasn't for me because if you put more into a relationship than the other person is doing, then my nine times out of 10, you in that relationship by yourself, even though there's a person the person is present, but if they're not doing nothing to conserve, reserve, or preserve, oh, I'm sorry, preserve the relationship and, you know, keep the fire or the love going or helping you with that, you in a relationship by yourself. So that's what I had to learn. And I like, he's not, you know, if he was any type of good for me, he would have been by my say by now. So I'm glad I got, I, I really, Really, really just got that through my head because I had to really just like, how is he not good? For, you know, I just had to go through that mentally. I had to go through all the stages of grief like that. And I'm somewhat still in my grief period, but I'm also transitioning from being in my grief to being, you know, finally over and done with it. Ready to have a new love life. Ready for new love to come forth. And when God um, actually sends this 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 young gentleman my way, this time I'm planning on, you know, letting love happen. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. I'm not, I don't care what goes on. I'm up. The only thing I can do is, is to pray. That's the only thing I can do. If it works out, it works out. If it don't, it don't. Because at the end of the day, my first true love will be my, will always be my only true love that I ever need. And that's God. I don't care about, you know, when it comes to loving God and loving God, I don't, I don't care about nothing or nobody else. As long as I love God, that's fine with me. If not, if, if, even if God is the only person that I have, it's fine with me. Because at the end of the day, if I, if I got God, that means I have family. That means I have all my needs provided. That means I am, you know, special. Because if I'm, you know, because... That means God don't want to share me with nobody else. And I should be, you know, thankful that God is so loving towards me that he don't want to share me with nobody else. That I'm so special that I can, only God can, you know, have the love to love me. I mean, I'm not, I'm not being happy that, you know, I'm either, I'm not saying I'm difficult to deal with because I, I, I may be. That's why I'm asking God, that's why I'm allowing God to work in my heart to, you know, to straighten me up on the things that I need to be straight. Because I know it's a lot, as a young, as a adult woman, as a mother, as a, you know, some as a woman who want to be a wife one day. I know I, that I have a lot of things that I need to work on, even as a mother, even as a woman, even as, you know, Whatever. It's things I need to work on. So I come today accepting and I just want guys just want to give you guys a brief on what I'm at mentally when it comes to my relationship status and my journey with God because um I still believe I I, I believe I still have my same old fire. It just been dulled down because of the, the the bad decisions that I made. I don't believe that I 
uh, I'm not convinced that I lost my fire, my prophetic edge or or my my fire that I had once had before all this you know, blew up in my face. I believe I still had that same old fire. It's just that I have to get back to that. I have to believe that and get back in position. And this time, know how to pay attention to what God showed me. Because when God showed me how the enemy is going to move in my life, I need to keep watch. And also, um, make sure that I'm not, you know, giving the, giving the enemy a, a footstool or or a, 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 any kind of help towards, you know, taking me down or taking me out. Because I don't have time to be set down or letting the devil run me out of ministry. Because I got too much ministry on the inside of me. That the world, that somebody in this world needs it. They need the calling that God put on my life. They need the anointing. They need the um, you know, the woman of God that He's building on the inside of me. Somebody needs that. It, it may not be in my hometown. It may not even be in my house. So it might not even be in my family. That somebody, that somebody see the potential that God sees in me. But somebody who don't, you know, who God's. Who God have assigned to my life. When they see that they are I am for them. And God sent me for them. Then you know. I can say you know what God. I see why I have to walk this way. I have to you know. Deal with certain stages of my life. Why I have to deal with isolation. Why I have to deal with separation. Why I have to deal with loneliness. Why I, do, why I have to deal with rejection. Because rejection hurts. It hurts. I've been re so rejected so much in my life, you guys, that it's not funny. Rejection hurts, and it can kill all your motivation. It can kill your confidence. It can kill your your your, your purpose if you let it. But those of us who are strong enough to to know that you know what you're not gonna, I'm not gonna let rejection or whatever I go through in life determine my purpose, determine my confidence, determine, you know, my job for God, my position. So we have to get in that place with God to know, you know, to know that you have to be in a place to of peace to actually understand it. I real baby, I'm talking. Don't do that no more. Get out of that. And so yeah. And like I said, even as being a parent, I have to look out for this little lady. Blue Bree. I have to look out for her. I have to be an example for her. So if I'm not being the proper uh, example, then who's she going to have to look up to? So with that being said, I'm just working on me. I'm working on myself mentally. I'm working on myself emotionally. I'm working on myself physically. I'm not all the way there. I'm not, I am not. might not even be halfway there, but I know I'm getting there. People may not, you know, may see like, oh, she gonna never, she not gonna never become this. She not gonna be never become that. You don't know what I'm gonna become. Only God, my creator knows. Stop trying to put me in a box because you don't see no potential in me or you're not trying to see it. So with that being said, like I said, I'm not Worrying about people. I'm not worrying if I lose people. <laughs> I'm only I'm only worrying about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and what God gonna say to me when I meet him in heaven to be judged on how I live my life in earth. That's all that concerns me right now. I'm not worrying about what this world is doing. I know the coronavirus is going around, but I refuse to let what the devil, what society want to use to scare me. I know that it's serious. I know I'm not downplaying it. I know that it's actually, it may be killing people for real, but guess what? I can't fear them. The Bible says that if you live, we're going to lose our life anyway. So why be scared? And especially if you are a, a, a child of God, it's a quote, and it's a Bible, it's a scripture in the Bible that says, um, when you live for God, why fear death? I mean, that's just how, that's my version of how, of how I said it, not 
won't actually word it like that, but that's just how I think of it, of how it says. But we can't fear things like this. We cannot, just like we cannot fear this coronavirus. Like I said, it's, it's serious, but I'm not going to let it, you know, stress me out. I'm not going to let it put me in fear. I'm not going to even let it keep me, you know, within these four walls. I'm going to live my life. But with all, like I said, with all that being said, I just want to come on you guys, encourage somebody, and you know, just to show you guys my face. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. If you have not seen my previous videos where I will show you guys my outfit of the days, my OOTD videos, outfit of the day, please go back and check those videos sooner. Oh, also very, very soon on this channel as well. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna start letting my daughter, her, Abriel, Abriel, do uh some outfit of the days as well, like some outfit videos, like showing you guys what she wearing for the day. Because I've been thinking of some very, very cute outfit for little girls, and she's like my model. So, and when I say she loves every outfit I put together for her, she actually loves it. So I'm gonna start doing outfit of the days or OOTD ideals with a uh, future in her and like i said if you guys love this channel and support us please like comment and subscribe and also in the comment sessions if you are my subscriber please uh comment down below i am your subscriber so i can go back and subscribe to you guys as well because i don't believe in asking people to subscribe to me and i don't subscribe to them back so I'm gonna end this vlog here. And oh, if you like I said, if you had not been watching my OOTD videos, my outfit of the day, please go back and watch because you do not want to miss the drip. I got drip for sale, okay? You don't want you don't want to miss the diva ness of how I put together my outfits. But if my outfits or my style is not your style, I understand that. It's plenty of other YouTube videos that you know may fit your a fashionista appetite but if you like my style keep watching your girl but like i said i'm gonna end this here because it's kind of getting along and i will see you guys in my next vlog say something Brie. bye